and welcome to another episode of Avarian Mail. I am Last of Avari, and the story goes that once upon a time I had this exactly cheap Canon camera. And of course, since it's basically, I think at this point, around 10 year old camera, battery has died. And you can't get an original one. This is PowerShot A3300IS. Here's close up, hopefully my other camera will focus. And uh, well, it's not great. It does the job. It has uh, multiple times optical zoom. And I want to try to revive it. This is the point when AliExpress comes to the rescue. GHTC is the name of the shop. This is not a paid advertisement. I put it for my own money and not really typically for AliExpress. This order has arrived in just about two weeks. Generally, it takes about a month for a package to come from China, but I guess I'm lucky today. So let's open it up. Okay, so the package was glued and uh, that means that uh, it was easier to just steer it open than to use a knife. There's the packaging. Just a bit of bubble wrap. And of course, the packet had its own layer, and the batteries themselves go like this. Inside of each tiny box, we find another layer of bubble wrap, and here goes our battery. As you can see, it is rated for 1000 milliamps, and the original Canon battery goes for, I believe, 740 milliamps, so considering it is the same physical size, I highly doubt that they somehow packed one third more lithium ion cells inside. The price for two batteries was around $11, so I don't expect them to be perfect, but hopefully they are better than the original battery, which is now, of course, dead. Obviously, to properly check these batteries, I need to go for a test photo shoot. And thanks to the magic of video editing, I've already done that. While you are looking at some photos which I made, I can tell you that that was around 100 shots plus a few short video clips, so that's not an insignificant amount. Many of these shots were made in auto mode, but some of them were made in program mode, with a couple parameters adjusted, like ISO and white balance. During all this time, I have managed to discharge camera battery only to two out of thirds stripes on the indicator. Now, this indicator is not very precise. I think it's probably about a half. You can see that these photos are of good enough quality, especially when they are scaled to fill the entire monitor. Of course, at 100% crop you can certainly find a lot of noise, but nobody will look at this photo at this scale. And if you are interested in video samples, I'll throw in one just here. Even though these videos were 720p, they look pretty grainy and they looked approximately just like this even back in the day when the camera was new. So at least it feels like to me that it's like maybe 960 by 540 pixel upscale. Maybe even slightly less, because you can see those chunky pixels with your own eyes. I'll continue to use this cheap camera for occasional photos, because it's pretty compact and it has 5 times optical zoom, so that's always nice. Of course, after all these shots, my battery got relatively low, so I've got a chance to check out its performance during charging process. This is the original Canon charger that was shipped with my camera, and it still works pretty well. Sometimes you have to push battery in a little bit, because the spring mechanism behind these charging contacts is a little bit weak. But most of the time it works just fine. As you can see right here and charges battery just fine, because this actually is the one that I've charged. To sum up this video, cheap clone batteries from China is definitely a viable substitute for the original ones, especially when they are no longer produced like 10 plus years after the release of the camera or other device. 
Of course, you have to go through reviews of a seller on eBay or AliExpress to make sure that they are actually a reliable seller. In my case, I have no complaints and even the delivery was very fast compared to regular delivery times from China to Belarus. You can share your experience and opinions in the comment section down below. If you like this video, you know what to do. Sharing it on social media always helps. It was Last of Awari, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you later.